Hey YouTube, so in this video I'll be reviewing the Babyliss Pro Nano Titanium Flat Iron. So if you're interested in seeing how it works on my hair, then just keep on watching. <laughs> what is this? Hey YouTube, this is Jazz. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the highly talked about, whatever, real popular right now, Babyliss, what is called? Babyliss? Babyliss Pro Flat Iron. I'm just going to show it to y'all because I don't know how to say it. But everybody been talking about this, so I decided that I would try it out. Y'all, this thing cost me, I want to say like 200 and some dollars, and this is not a sponsored video. This is something I spent my own coins on, so this thing better work. So, we just gonna see how it works on my hair. As you see, my hair has already been prepped, it's blow dried. Uh, the heat protectant that I use on my hair is the olive oil serum. Here you go. The olive oil heat protectant, and I link this and the blow dryer that I use to prep my hair for this. So if you're interested in seeing how this expensive flat iron works, <laughs> then keep on watching. So I bought this straight off of Amazon. The packaging wasn't really nothing to you know write home about. Um, but this is what the box looks like here. And when you open it, it's just a slide out. So when you open it, it looks like this. So this is my first time ever opening it. So I got the Nano Titanium one. I They got so many options on the market. I didn't know which one to even try, so I just kind of picked one. So it was no method to my madness, I just picked one. But it comes with you know, this, and then on the inside, it has, I don't even know what that is. So, I'm a, it gotta be a glove or something, I don't know. And some instructions. Um, so, I'm just gonna plug this bad boy up and we gonna use it. Y'all, yeah. I be scared to try like new heat tools because I be afraid of what it's gonna do. But I've been hearing so much good stuff about this so I'm excited about it. Um, Here's the cord. It looks kind of like a cloth kind of cord. Um, hopefully with it being this material, it keep it from tangling up so much because you know with the other cords, they just be wrapped around each other. This is the Babyliss Pro Prima 3000 with Nano Titanium. And so, probably can't see it, but it has like an on off button here. Yeah, it has an on button here and I guess increase and decrease the temperature button here. So I'm gonna turn it on. So once you turn it on, the green light come on. And I'm guessing it's starting off at 300. I'm gonna go ahead and increase it to like 340. Um, because I know my hair, it takes more than usually 300 to get it. The, to get it as straight as I wanted to get. So once I moved it up, so at first it had a green light, now it's got an orange light for 340. Um, so I'm gonna let it sit here for a while. While it's warming up, I'm going to go ahead and part my hair off. One thing I will say about this is I don't like how like all my fingerprints show on here. That's like a pet peeve of mine. I don't like fingerprints on nothing. So I probably will find myself like wiping this off a lot because I don't like the way fingerprints look. But I kind of wonder if this is for you to not get fingerprints on it. I don't know, I'm just being creative. But you only got three? <laughs> what is this? What is this? Maybe if I read the instructions, I would know. Whatever, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna be using this. This feels stupid. It feels flicky. What is this? Whatever. All right, I'm just waiting on this to warm up. So I already can feel the heat coming from it. It feels like it warms up pretty fast. We gonna start in the back. 
Have y'all seen how long my hair has gotten? Like, wow. To be honest, y'all, I've been taking a break from doing my hair. I don't know, I've just been, hmm. All right, so I'm gonna start in the back. I normally start in the back on uh, doing a lot of my hairstyles. Do this. So to make sure that my hair is fully detangled, I'm just gonna go through this with the rat tail comb. And I already have put the heat protectant on my hair. It feels like it's ready. It's definitely the same move label before use. Alright, so we got this. Can I take it? Normally I like to do one pass. So that's what it looks like with one pass. Hmm. I only got it on 340, so may need to bump it up. Let's do this side. I think I am going to bump this up to 380 because that's the next one. Um, my hair feels okay, but I'm really going for like a a bust down, bust down look. So I want my hair to be super duper flat, so. Now one thing I do like about this is that it has a lock. So like, if you put it together and you don't want it to come apart, I guess if you wanna like take your hand off of it or whatever, then you could just pull this part down and it's locked. So if you wanna take it and just do this. That's a good little feature. So I'm gonna make sure that this section is fully detangled. I'm gonna take this. Now I do have it on um, 380 now because I thought the 340 wasn't giving what I needed to give. So, so far I think it's doing really good. It is straightening my hair. I mean, that's what it's supposed to do. And this surface does get really hot, so be careful if you're gonna, you know, use that or touch that. So this is what we have so far. So y'all, this is the side that I've done and this is the side that's still blow dry. So, I mean, it's doing good. I mean, as it should, it costs 200 and some dollars. Y'all, my hair feels so soft. And don't worry about these ends though, I'ma get them. But y'all, my hair feels so good. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna finish doing the rest of my hair.
Ooh, y'all. We halfway done. Y'all, look at this. Ah, this job look good. <laughs> about to finish doing the rest of this, and then I'll tell y'all what I think about this flat iron. All right, y'all, I am done flat ironing my hair. Me and hubby are about to try to trim these ends because they need them. And then once I'm done doing all of that, then I'll tell y'all how I feel about the flat iron and show y'all like my hair. Because my hair has gotten so long, I can't really show y'all the true length um, on here. Um, so I'm gonna have to like try to cut another piece of video in so y'all can see like the true length and stuff. But y'all, it look good, it feel good, it's flowy, it's shiny, like, come through. Look at the roots. Like, y'all love. All right, y'all, hubby has finished cutting my ends. I'll insert a clip here um, of him doing it. But um, this is what my hair looks like. Oh, I'm trying to stand back so y'all can see it. So I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, I think it looks all right. So overall, my thoughts on the flat iron is, I mean, I like it. I do think it's a pretty good flat iron. It, it gets the job done. You see my hair um, looks fine. And it didn't take too many passes for me to get my hair straight. I didn't want to make the heat real high because I'm trying to do better with that. I mean, it did pretty good. Do I think it's worth the 200? Mm. Yeah, I do. I do think that it did its job. Also, like when I flat ironed my hair, I didn't smell that burnt smell. I didn't get a lot of that smoke like, like I usually do with other flat irons. Um, the drawback that I have with this flat iron, y'all, and I think it is a pet peeve for me. I don't like these buttons here <laughs> um, because this is where your own and off button is. And sometimes, especially if you're a girl who wears nails, um, it's hard to press that on off button here and it's also hard to press the buttons um like to increase or decrease the temperature that was something that was really bothering me also i don't like the the chrome now i thought it was cool when i first got it um but when i started using it i noticed like my fingerprints all over it and that's just for me, not maybe not y'all, but for me that is a pet peeve because I feel like now I gotta constantly clean it so it look good and shiny. Like it's like a dirty tire rim. Like I don't know. That was that was just my personal opinion. Um, but I do I do like it. I do also think that this part is something that you have to watch out for. It gets really hot when you are flat ironing your hair, so you have to be careful with that. But the feature that I do like about this too is it has a lock portion here. So like, I guess for storage, if you wanna like put it here, pull that down, you see it is locked. So it's not open or anything, it's just locked. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but overall, if I had to give this a number, um, I would say probably a seven. Um, that's just my personal opinion. Do I think it's worth the hype? Mm, nah. <laughs> uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's functional, it, it do everything, but is it worth what everybody's been talking about? Mm, I'm gonna say nah, not really. Um, it's just like your regular flat iron. Now the real tail is going to be 
when I wash my hair again and see like my curl pattern and all of that. But so far, seven out of 10 from me, no burnt smell. It, it heats up pretty fast. It works, I mean, you know, it, it works. It's a good iron, but you know, is it worth the hype that everybody giving? Not to me, I just feel like it is a regular flat iron. I mean, it works, it's pretty much it. I'm move this out the way. But if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Click that bell so you can notify every time that I post something so you don't miss something, and I will see y'all in my next video. Oh, let me show y'all, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all how good hubby did. Oh man, I can't get it. He did so good, y'all. He did so good with trimming my hair.